हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बिग फूडीज टुडे वी आर मेकिंग गोभी पकोड़ा और क्रिस्पी कॉलीफ्लावर फ्रेटर्स अ माउथ वॉटरिंग एपिटाइजर क्रिस्पी ऑन द आउटसाइड एंड सॉफ्ट ऑन द इन साइड दिस पकोड़ाज आर एडिक्टिंग दिस वर्क एज अ टेस्टी पेयरिंग विथ योर आफ्टरनून टी और स्पाइसी डिलीशियस स्नैक बिफोर एनी मील दिस क्लासिक स्पाइसी कॉलीफ्लावर पकोड़ाज और इजी चिक्पी फ्लोर बैटर्ड डीप फ्राइड फ्लेवर्ड इंडियन फ्रिटर्स विच आर जस्ट परफेक्ट फॉर एनी वेदर प्लस दिस फ्रिटर्स आर वीगन ग्लूटेन फ्री एंड अ हेल्थी चॉइस टू फ्रेंड्स बिग फूडीज इज अ प्लेस फॉर यू टू फाइंड इंटरेस्टिंग एंड डिलीशियस रेसिपीज which can be cooked with easily available ingredients found in your kitchen hence please take a moment to subscribe to big foodies by pressing the subscribe button to get more delicious recipes and never miss a video from big foodies and hit the bell icon to get notifications about new recipes also don't forget to leave a comment it really motivates me to keep exploring learning and improving my recipes Without further delay now let's start the delicious recipe of gobhi pakoda The ingredients required to make this super delicious treat for your family and friends are given on the screen. Hello friends, today we are cooking gobhi pakoda or cauliflower fritters. An easy and simple cauliflower or gobhi based fritters made with spiced chickpea flour or gram flour coating. Friends, to get simple, easy and authentic recipes, please subscribe to Big Foodies and like and share this video. To make gobhi pakoda, we are taking about 500 grams of cauliflower or gobhi and we need to cut them in big size pieces like this. However, you may cut them in any size you want. It only affects final appearance of pakoda's taste remains the same. Make sure to wash and towel dry them thoroughly. If your gobhi or cauliflower contains dirt, then you may want to wash it with hot water and then towel dry it. Otherwise, washing with plain tap water is good enough. Make sure you remove excess water from cauliflowers. Add the salt as per your taste. Remember to add the salt for the basin or gram flour too here. Add some red chili powder as per your taste. Add some hing or asafoetida powder. It adds a nice flavor to the pakoras and helps in digestion. Add garam masala powder. Add garam seeds or ajwain. You can adjust the quantity of spices as per your taste and flavor you want in the pakoras. Add some fennel seeds powder or sauf powder. It will give nice flavor and taste to the pakoras. You can also add whole fennel seeds or sauf if the powder is not ready. However, you can easily make fennel seeds powder in the grinder. It can be used in many recipes. Add some green chilies as per your taste. Add finely chopped coriander leaves or cilantro. Add some rice flour for giving extra crunchiness to the pakoras. Make sure not to overdo on rice flour. Only add a few tablespoons. However, if you don't like the taste of rice flour in the pakoras, then just skip rice flour. and add basin or gram flour only now add the gram flour or basin we should only add enough quantity of basin which helps in making a nice layer on the cauliflower too much of it is not recommended now start mixing the spices and basin with the cauliflower you can use your hands or spoon to mix it initially don't add any water as cauliflower will also release some water while mixing now add little quantity of water and mix it 
you need to mix it thoroughly and then only add more water if required don't add too much water as cauliflower or gobi will release the water and when you rest the batter for a while it will become too much watery after mixing if you feel that a little more ground flour or besan is required in the batter so that gobi or cauliflower gets a nicer coating on the outside then add some more and mix it well just add a little bit of water if required while mixing it nicely we have marinated cauliflower with the besan and spices now our pakoda batter is ready and you can see that all the cauliflower pieces are coated nicely with the besan we want a nice layer of besan on all the cauliflower pieces for nice and crunchy pakoras so accordingly you can adjust the quantity of besan we have to rest this batter for 20 to 30 minutes then we will deep fry the pakoras resting the pakora batter is very important step in making delicious pakoras as when we rest the batter the flavor of spices is seeped into cauliflower which makes it taste awesome after resting the gobi pakora batter for 20 to 30 minutes give it a nice mix now we need to deep fry the pakoras in oil if you mind the oil you can also shallow fry them or bake them for deep frying the pakoras we have heated oil in a pan and kept it on a medium high flame now start adding the marinated cauliflower pieces in the oil one by one you can use your hands or a small spoon to drop the cauliflower pieces in oil we need to fry these pakoras until they are golden brown on all the sides while cooking them flip them on the other side once one side is nicely cooked cook them until they turn golden brown on all the sides now the pakoras are cooked golden brown drain the oil and take them out on an absorbent paper which can absorb the excess oil we have taken out all the pakoras on an absorbent paper towel similarly we can fry all the pakoras from the remaining batter so friends our gopi pakoda or cauliflower fritters are ready we may not need any side dish to be served with this but you can serve it with green chutney or any spicy chutney or tomato ketchup It's perfect to be cooked for any day or in a party or celebration in your house. It is an ideal evening snack for all age groups or perhaps as a munching snack served to surprise guests in your family. If you are calorie conscious or avoiding fried food, then the option is to bake the pakoras. You can see that it really looks tempting and delicious. So enjoy these yummy and tempting gobi pakoras. with your family and friends friends to get simple easy and authentic recipes please hit the subscribe button to subscribe big foodies for many more delicious recipes and hit the bell icon to get notifications about new recipes and don't forget to like and share this video please share your experience with us in the comments as it really motivates me to keep exploring learning and improving my recipes Friends if you want to watch Big Foodies recipes in Hindi then please visit and subscribe to Big Foodies Hindi channel for recipes in Hindi language the link is given here thank you so much for watching